Welcome back everyone. Today I'll be talking about Kroger stock. The main reason why I'm interested to deep analyze Kroger stock is to understand why Warren Buffett bought Kroger stock. So I checked out his 13F and 13F basically shows what investors or hedge funds or companies are buying and Warren Buffett added Kroger to his list of many stocks that he owns. Why this Kroger is very interesting is that he believes that the stock market is overvalued. As for the Warren Buffett indicator, we had 2x where we're supposed to be. And it's interesting on how he added Kroger, but not many other stocks. He added Kroger pretty heavily, in my opinion. And he did not add much stock, many other shares. So as we see today, Kroger's up 3.5% on really no news because it's 13F news is pretty old. Past five days, it's up well over uh, 4%. One month, as we can see, it is continuing in the same trend. In the past six months, unbelievable growth for, you know, a grocery chain, 42%. You know, that's unbelievable. And the past year, it has gone up around 31%. As we can see, Kroger was, you know, quite flat for some time until it broke out quite recently, especially in June or July. And Kroger has been, you know, a pretty successful stock for investors who have held it through the long term. So let's look at Warren Buffett's 13F. Uh, so 13F essentially, uh, you know, displays all the stocks and securities that a, per, or that a company or that an individual or, you know, a fund manager has in their portfolio. So right now well, we can look at, you know, Melvin Capital or uh, Skyon Capital or any other investment firm and they, we can see what they bought or sold. So as we see right here, he only bought four stocks and out of these four stocks, he bought, you know, quite more of Kroger than any other stocks. So as you can see, he reduced quite a bit in the other holdings and he has continued to buy Kroger, you know, for, for a while now, you know, he's, he keeps adding, you know, 52% uh, in addition to his uh, Kroger purchases. Of course, he is known to be a value investor. He buys, you know, Apple, Verizon, Gold, GM, uh, banks, so it's quite interesting on, on how he added Kroger. I see the similarities, but you know, I am concerned about the valuation and I was surprised when he picked up Kroger and not, you know, other uh, cheaper grocery stores with higher growth rate. But l let's see if Warren Buffett, you know, has a point. So right here at the 10K. So if you look at sales percentage change year over year from 2019 to 2020, so the 10K releases every year. So unfortunately, we don't have this year's 10K. So from 2019 to 2020, it went 8.4%, which is actually quite low in my opinion, because you know the pandemic was a perfect situation for grocery stores to, you know, explode in growth. Uh, but I do see some very interesting things here, which uh, may have you know uh, convinced Warren Buffett to. Uh, by the shares, you know, in, in my opinion, you know, share repurchases are one of the most important things and they more than triple their share re, uh, repurchase program, especially in 2019 when their stock price was, you know, you know, pretty pr relatively low, you know, in 2019, they were trading at around $24 and in 2020, they were trading much higher. So they bought more shares in 2020 than in 2019. Uh, they, you know, reduced their debt in, in finance leases. Uh, their dividend payout has become, you know, higher around 10%. Their dividend ratio has lowered, which is, which is great for the company as well. Uh, what was most interesting to me is that their digital revenue growth grew 116%, which is, you know, was expected due to the pandemic. But, you know, I love to see old retailers like Walmart, Kroger, you know, explode, you know, in digital re revenue, like Target, you know, has been an absolute monster because they've grown their digital revenue over 500% in the past year. And I believe, you know, Kroger can do that, but, you know, it's going to be quite a big adjustment because they have a lot of competition and, you know, they're not, they don't fit, you know, in the right category in terms of target audience, you know, the Target appeals towards millennials and Gen Z's, Walmart, you know, towards the value type shopper. Costco towards, you know, the value type shopper. And, you know, you have your other re small retailers in local cities that, you know, whatever is convenient for them, they'll go to that store. I, I do, you know, in terms of you know, safe investments, I do think grocery stores are you know, absolutely phenomenal. Um, 
And in terms of total revenue, in terms of total profit, I, I do give them, you know, some um, more benefit than 23.5 percent. It's because they had a 1.5 billion dollar expenditure for COVID, which won't be there. And I think you know Kroger's gone smart enough to where uh, they will retain some of you know uh, the hyped sales that they have received. But if we you know you go over to the 10Q. It's not looking, you know, too pretty. You know, the operating profit, you know, dropped dramatically. Uh, that was expected due to, you know, the reopening phase dropped from, uh, you know, 1,326 million to 805 million. And yeah, I was quite, you know, disappointed to see the, you know, the quarter over quarter, sorry, the year over year for May, you know, it was quite, you know, disappointing to see. But one thing that's very interesting to me is that their stores have reduced by 10%. So if you're increasing revenue, increasing profits, but your stores are getting less, it's very, very good. Um, the reason why I say it's very good is that means every store is getting more money. So when they decide you know, to open up more stores again, you know, we can, uh, we can properly predict that cash flow. So in terms of competitors, you know, you always have uh, Kroger, but you always, you know, also have Albertsons as well. Albertsons. Um, Albertsons does trade at, I believe, a better PE. And as we can see, Albertsons has absolutely exploded along with Kroger. I say Randall's is also a competitor, but Randall's is not a publicly listed company. Walmart, I would say, is also another competitor. Uh, and I think, you know, it's good, you know, to have, um, you know, a lot of retail in your portfolio because it's safe. You know, when recession comes, retail is the way to go. So in terms of these P ratios, yeah, they, Google Finance has messed up these P ratios. Walmart is by far the cheapest one. I believe it's under 18. Kroger is, you know, sitting around 30, which does, you know, make me a little bit more hesitant, you know, paying a 30 PE for you know, retail chain with, you know, declining sales. It is quite, you know, interesting. So the big question is, do I recommend buying the stock or do I have this stock myself? I do not, you know, per personally, I don't like, you know, stocks like this, my portfolio. Um, if I want to buy Kroger, I would buy at much cheaper valuations. I wouldn't buy currently at, you know, $47. I would buy closer to $25 or $35 a share where it would make more sense because we're looking for returns, you know, of above 5 to 6%, you know, slightly being the S&P. And I don't think Kroger will beat the S&P. I think, you know, a lot of growth has been priced in in the high P.E. ratios. But, you know, there's, there's this one stock I've been looking at, Dollar Tree. I think Dollar Tree is a very interesting proposition. It's uh, trading at a 14 P.E. It's It's been down, you know, a little bit from its highs. It's down around 20%. And I think the Dollar Tree can also you know, explode during um, a, a financial recession. So I think it's a recession-proof stock. And Dollar Tree continues to grow. So do I recommend Warren Buffett's Kroger stock? Personally, I don't. I do see why he's added it, but I, I'm a little bit surprised why, you know, he didn't pursue other stocks. Uh, other, you know, similar industries like Albertsons or Dollar Tree or Dollar General, I believe those are at better valuations and better growth rates. But yeah, personally, Kroger's not for me. I'm more of a Walmart and Dollar Tree type individual. Thank you for watching and have a good day.